Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Fat Burger. Fat Burger is a new place in, in town. They just opened, um, I don't know, a week or two ago probably, and um, never had tried one, never, never heard of one. So um, we're gonna go and try it out. Hey, I want the medium fat burger with the uh, fat fries. You want cheese on that? Um, yeah, just and the works, I guess, is what it's called. Just All right, okay. Fat fries. And we actually have Pepsi products. Here's our options. Oh, I don't want any drink. All right. And you said fat fries. Yeah. Will that be all? Yep, that's it. It's gonna be ten ninety nine. You'll be paying at the window. Okay. All from you is your name. I'm Kevin. You have a very nice day. Thanks. It's like their menu board. They haven't finished putting it together yet, so it's like. Well, it's all leaning and falling in there. Um, it's it's odd. It's like they haven't finished putting things together yet. So I decided to record the menu board because I said it was doesn't look like it's put together all the way. I don't think it's finished. I don't, they, the signs are just leaning in there. Um, they're standing out here taking orders. I don't know if that's because it's not working yet or because they're just thinking it's faster. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it's definitely not 100% just yet. They have milkshakes made out of real ice cream, and they also have vegan milkshakes. Hmm. They also have buffalo wings with 13 world famous sauces and rubs. Um, I just got a regular, the medium fat burger, which is just the burger with the works, which comes with. See where I was up here, I could have said what it was. It's le mayo, lettuce, tomato, pickle, uh, onions, relish, mustard, patty, and then the buns, of course. Um, and I got cheese on it, too. So They got an Impossible Burger. They got a Western Bacon Barbecue. That looks really good. Uh, turkey, a skinny burger, which has no bun. <coughs> a veggie burger. I said the Impossible Burger. A Thousand Island, which probably has Thousand Island dressing on it, I'm guessing. Um, they have a Cajun chicken sandwich, a grilled chicken sandwich, and a crispy chicken sandwich, which looks really good. Um, yeah, they got a bunch of sauces. And the milkshakes, I can't tell what flavors they are. Oh, here it is. Um, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, Oreo cookies, and, and ice cream, and a Maui banana. And then the vegan one, they have chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, and Maui banana. And wow, the difference in price. The regular milkshakes are five seventy five for a regular milkshake. The vegan milkshakes are nine ninety nine. So that's quite a quite a difference. Order for Kevin. Yeah. Ten ninety nine. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. All right, so here is the fat fries. You can see they're, they're wide fries. They had a skinny fry, but these are the fat ones. The skinny ones, I guess, are just skinnier. Um, and there's the burger. I'll take, take it out of the paper just so I can take a picture and let you see what's in there. But you get tomato, lettuce. I see mustard. Mayo's on the top. There's cheese. Um, it looks pretty good. And this is just the original. Now, I could have got doubles and... Extra large, large, extra large, triple large, quadruple large. Like they'll pack up to like four burger patties on there. So anyway, that's what I ordered. I'll tell you the price uh, once I get turned around. Okay, so for the price, it was six twenty nine for the the medium fat burger. I added cheese, so that was ninety nine cents. So just keep that in mind. The fat fries were three oh nine. So my total was ten thirty seven. Um, tax and everything, it was ten ninety nine. So that's, that's what that's what I paid for it. So I want to try these fries. They look really good. They're very they're very thick, like um, almost like steak fries. They're also gonna be plenty of ketchup. So if you want it up, um, if you like a steak fry, these are really good. If you like um, something that's not quite as strong a potato flavor, like you want a little more, um, I don't know, this like a shoestring fry, 
get the skinny fries because these are very um, potato-y. They're plenty hot enough. They got a little bit of Christmas on them, but not crispness. Tammy always says I smell. It's like I'm saying Christmas. Um, crispness. Um, they're a little crisp, but I'm not super crisp. So uh, just keep that in mind too. My only problem with them is they're not very salty. I like the texture. I like the the flavor. Okay. Definitely needed to add some salt. So I will probably um, dip them in ketchup because I'll add a little salt to them. And they're a little dry. So the ketchup would definitely help with both those. Yeah. There's a car pulled up behind me. I'm wondering why. I think it's just parked there. I'm at a park, so it's a little weird. I'm not used to cars just pulling up around you. Um, so here's the burger. Can't really see much from here. Good flavor. Um... The burger has a good um, like char on it, so it's grilled, so it's, it's got the, that overall char. Um, it's kind of thin, but it's not um, it's not paper thin like a McDonald's burger is. It's a little thicker than that. Um, it's good. I like it. Again, I got it with the works, which includes um, mustard and mayo and stuff like that. Um, me personally, I'd probably get it without mustard next time because mustard is, the mustard's really, really strong. It's just a regular um, yellow mustard. So it's, it's a very strong mustard flavor. Um, I prefer mayo to mustard. This has both, but I'd rather have um, mustard and, I mean, a mayo and ketchup than mustard. But anyway, Beyond that, it's really, really good. It has a good flavor to it. The burger is well done or well cooked. Um, like Again, I like that char on it. The cheese, I don't think I'd add cheese to it again either um, because you really can't taste the cheese. You don't get any texture difference or taste for the cheese. Um, really, honestly, if I thought about it, I don't generally taste the cheese on burgers anyway unless they're homemade. Um, so for most burgers that you have out, I usually don't get, I usually can't tell it's got cheese on it one way or the other. Um, overall, a good burger. Definitely not the best burger I've ever had, but it is a good burger. I'm going to give the burger, I'll say I'm going to give the fries the fat fries. I'm going to give those a three out of five. They're just okay. I think I'd prefer the skinny fries um, because they're not quite as potato. And I like a good steak fry, but these are very potato-y uh, fries and they're missing salt um, a lot and they're really dry. The burger itself, it's a good burger. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Um, I do like it. They could have seasoned the meat a little bit more than they did. Again, I think it's lacking some salt and stuff like that on it. We and when I worked at restaurants, you always sprinkled salt on the burgers because it adds flavor. Um, it's missing that. That's what it's missing some some enhancement of the flavor. Uh, beyond that, it's still a really good burger. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.